and she's Akona Silwani. Today we are focusing on bipolar and schizophrenia. And then, uh, we are not health experts though, but the information that we are going to share, we're going to find it useful as some of us are living with people with bipolar, in some cases not knowingly that the person is having bipolar. And then bipolar is a mental illness that affects a person's mood and energy levels. We all have our ups and downs, but people with bipolars have extreme uh, ups and downs and too much energy levels. And then these mood swings can be distressing for them and also for other people because this mood affects how they live their life and other people. And then even though feeling, experiencing those moods, this, the people with bipolar can also feel and act normal. So there are times whereby they will feel down, hopeless, and then not useful. And then they will be like developing depression. And Akona, can you please come in with the symptoms of of a bipolar yes yes um <clears throat> symptoms of a bipolar on a there's a, a, a manic uh, episode and also a depression episode on a manic episode mostly a person will be very high and extremely extremely irritable like will be irritated just in, in in anything like in a extremely with an anger and then at the same time in a depression a person will feel down depressed and anxious and sad and also sometimes a person in a manic will be, will be jumpy, like he jumpy even if maybe something, someone like maybe if you are walking in, the person will just be jumpy like he, as, as if he's scared. And also in a, on 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 a depression, a person will be having a trouble with falling asleep. A person will have insomnia, will maybe stay the whole night. And also, um, on a manic on the side will also having the talk like sometimes when the person is talking will talk maybe fast um, and maybe say some different things with no meaning and then sometimes will having a trouble with we on a depression will have a trouble with the concentration a person will not be able to concentrate even if it's a, a person who's still in the class like will not be able to concentrate and it's also stigma with people living with bipolar in most cases we the people are being stigmatized in a sense that says they are not able they are obliged to quit their job they will never be in and they will never be in stable relationship because of this condition and then and then this, all this miscon misconception will lead to the person will delay will slow the the person from recovery and then will kill the person inside the will kill the person inside and then hinder the person to move on because of the stigma and then these people People with bipolar, let's learn to love them. Let's acknowledge, let's give them love, support, because they they do need that from us as, as the society, as even as families, because once I heard the other one mentioning that she was being stigmatized by her own family. So we need to love the people, care for them and support them. And they have that thing of saying the Mm. And they have all those, all those uh, um, conditions which we need to support them, yes. especially as a family, because mm. we know what what is going on. Yes. Because if we are the one who's starting to have a, a stigma towards to the a member of our family, how much more on the community? Yes. Because the community yes. will follow what we are we are doing as a family. If we support that person, yes. also the community will also support the person. Yes. Mm. yes. Yes, um, schizophrenia, it's a, it's, it's a mental, it's a serious mental uh, illness that affects a person 
it affects the person in terms of thinking, it affects the person in terms of, uh, of feeling, like the, feel, the emotions and the behavior. And the people with uh, schizophrenia, mostly they lost the touch with the reality, like they lost the touch with what is happening on the environment, like on the, around, around them. And uh, which is those things mostly, especially when the people like the family, they and the friends, especially when they don't know what's going on, it can be depressing, and and also it can be it can they can feel stress, and uh, the, the schizophrenia is differ. It's not like the same thing to all the people. It's differ from person to a person. Psychotic schizophrenia, it includes the way the person thinks, the way the person act, and the way the person experience things. And then it also includes the delusion. The person they will be, they will be delusional, and they will have a hallucination, and they will have disorganized speech. Uh, delusional, it's when the person they will they will believe something. You now, when a person believe uh, that they maybe they, she has she or he have a lover, maybe someone mm -hmm. loves, or we we'll just see the person and then we we'll see that person and say, no, when are you umutuaka when? Mm. Uh, uh, um, oh, we are, we are, okay. you love me or the person will say no 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 you born you when I saw you that you want to beat me those uh, uh, delusional they change the concept of the things and then uh, do, do, do you know about yeah. the hallucination yes the halluc the, on the hallucination part the person with schizophrenia will be hearing voices and those mm. voices sound real to them and then they will react towards those sounds and then even if the sound is saying him can do bad thing mm. he will automatically do that bad thing because of it sound real to 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 him and mm. one other thing as you mentioned like being uh, uh, on the delusional part the, the, the people are like they are is full of par they are paranoid mm. you know mm. they think it, we, a person with a schizophrenia will will be like you know people are watching he watching mm. him as the the tv and the radio program as pre are specifically directed to him and then in some instance you find that the police and the government are coming after him and then he will find that there are point where there are some other uh, 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 point where you find that the person is thinking for it. The, the neighbor is using this some powers for him to be to be in that in that stage. Mm -hmm. That's uh, mm -hmm. some of the the, the the symptoms of being paranoid. Let's talk about the stigma. The the, the stigma concerning the people with schizophrenia. Yes, the stigma is that media associate schizophrenia with violence and being dangerous and then even if the person can come out to seek treatment because of the those misconceptions a person will never be able to come out for treatment and then it will again delay this i mean it will again delay recovery of a of a, of a person and another thing that uh, that makes uh, in, in media and the community that they will say these people they are dangerous and all the stuff it's because mostly they would they would put them with the person that they are they are they are disturbed in their mind and then because sometimes you find them when they are making a sentence when they're saying something and they, when you're trying to connect the, 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 the what they're trying to say you, you won't get the sense or the meaning of what they are trying to say but um it is it is a, 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 a very important that we we, we we help we help our people and we learn about those uh, about these uh, disorders especially the mental disorders because at this time we all going through a lot we all going through some mental some mental problems that we have so 
each and every person needs a, 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 a support and need a community to be there and we need each other we need to support each other and if you saw that there is a person you have to you can call the police to come and take that person to the hospital if you if the person is refusing but if the person is voluntarily you just take the person you just support the person and then you take the person to the hospital because there are treatment that you can go to to, to control the schizophrenia yes. in the hospital yes. which it's just managing the symptom and improving the person to continue with the day-to-day -day, uh, living life. So we need to, 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 to support each other as much as possible. Yes, we one other thing with when it comes to the treatment part and the welfare of the people with schizophrenia, I think family counseling plays a very important part because it will help the family as large mm -hmm. to understand and manage the challenges relating to the to the illness and then another thing uh, like she said that there is medication and then psychosocial support eg going out again for therapy to i mean like talking and then that will be helpful for the person with schizophrenia and one other thing is that let us learn to let's promote their mental well-being by being there for them supporting them loving them i know it can be quite hard sometimes but as i said worry family counseling plays an important part and then it will be also helpful for for the family as large to be there for the person who is having this mental disorder Thank you for watching us and please don't forget to subscribe and comment on our videos. So we love that and we will see you next time on our BBM social talks. Bye, we love you. Love you lot guys. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs>